Hi, I'm Tom Sinclair, that VidBlaster guy, with another quick and dirty tutorial about VidBlaster. What you've got in front of you is the VidBlaster default profile. That's what VidBlaster looks like the very first time you start it. This is actually the broadcast edition, so the skin, the coloration, is slightly different, but all the modules are the same. When we're going to output video in VidBlaster to another program like Skype or Wirecast or Flash Media Live Encoder, we use the Output Module. So we go to Modules, Add, Output, and there's the Output Module, and it's number one, indicating that's the first Output Module that we're using. In order to tell it we need a source, so we'll select Program, and that's going to be anything here in this monitor module. So let's put our picture there just so that we've got something to output. We also need a destination. Our destination is going to be the VidBlaster VVD. And that's virtual video device. So if we turn it on, now the picture is available to the virtual video device. That means if we were to start Flash Media Live Encoder, Wirecast, or Skype, we could pick up the VidBlaster video right here as if it were a camera in one of those programs. That's how you do output to another piece of software in VidBlaster. I'm Tom Sinclair, that VidBlaster guy. Hope you'll watch us on Wednesdays. Thanks for watching.